Out of the Ordinary. My name is Lily. And my name is Jason. If you like ghosts, goblins, and ghouls, you've turned on the right show. We interview people who had supernatural encounters. That's right. And our guest tonight is Sammy. Hello, Sammy. Hi, guys. Before we hear about your frightening experience, can you tell us if you believe in ghosts? Now that I have seen them, I believe in ghosts. How do you know if it is really a ghost and not your eyes playing tricks on you? Well, it kind of blew stuff around the room and stuff was thrown at me and around the room and there was broken glass and stuff, so. How old were you when you saw your first ghost and what really happened? I was about 10 years old and um, so the day before we were playing with the Ouija board in my room and um, so me and my friends used to like to play with the Charlie Charlie thing and the Ouija board and stuff and because we didn't believe in ghosts and stuff like that so we would do that to see if they're really real and the lights in my room started flickering so I asked my parents if we could change the lights and so we did and then they started flickering again and he appeared. What, what, who is this he and what does he look like? Well, I'm not exactly sure it's a he, but I believe he, he's pretty tall, like really tall. And he wears this dark cloak with a hood and the sleeves are very baggy and his hands just show out of the sleeves. And it just covers his whole body except for his head and his hands. His head kind of leans forward and, he, and there's just darkness in his eyes. And he's a skeleton. So. Okay. Is there a certain time of day when you see them? No, they just pop up randomly. Do you see only one or do you see more? I see that one ghost that I've described for you like three or four times a day. And I also see other ghosts that just pop up randomly throughout the day. But I think that the ghost that I've described to you guys is like the main ghost. You say that you believe in ghosts, but what about vampires, zombies, or other monsters? Mm, not exactly. I haven't heard about anyone seeing them or anything, so it's, it could be possible that they are real, but I don't believe they are. Some people say that this studio is haunted. What do you think? I think it could be. You know, it's getting old, it could be haunted. Wow, what a scary encounter. Anything else you'd like to add? No. Thank you, Sammy, for being on our show and sharing your very frightening story. Thank you for watching Out of the Ordinary. We hope we haven't scared you too much. Sweet nightmares. See you. Oh my God, what's happening? What's, what's happening? Uh, this what's is like happening? that time that control I'm room. Control room. What's wrong right here? Why are Look, the lights it's turning lights. on and off? This is like what happened when I saw him. Oh, God. it's happening again. Oh no! It's happening again. Oh no! Welcome to Drake It in the Dark, Drake It's own ghost and monster hunting program. I'm your host, Brad. On tonight's show, we will be investigating Beaver Brook Mills in Drake It, 
and the studio at Drake Access Television. Visitors and workers have reported being threatened by a strange ghostly figure who seems to appear most frequently in the back hallway of the mill. Recently, Drake Access Television experienced a first-hand encounter with a skeleton-like creature during the taping of their Out of the Ordinary program. This terrifying event was captured on camera, but was it fake? Was it all a hoax? That's where we're going to find out. We've sent our reporter, Rosie, and our camera person on location to the Beaverbrook Mills in Drake to investigate. Rosie's twin sister, Lily, was the host of Out of the Ordinary and was reported missing. Let's go live to the scene now. Hello, Brad. As you can see, I'm in the back hallway of, at the Beaverbrook Mill. This hall is said to be the source of many strange encounters. Let's investigate further. hear me? This is terrible. It looks like we've proved that the mill is definitely haunted, but we have no way of knowing what happened. Hello? Hello? Wait, I think we may have reestablished a camera link with our crew. Let's see if we can find out what happened. I hope they're okay. My name is Brad, and I was behind the scenes, and I worked on the teleprompter to tell the people for Out of the Ordinary what to say for the lines. And I was George, right here. Here's, here's my good friend George. And you can't really talk, but he's there. And I also was the host of Drake It in the Dark. And yeah. Yay. Hello. 
I'm Lily. I was one of the hosts in Out of the Ordinary. I also played Rosie in Drake in the Dark in the Beaver Brook Mill back hallway. Hi, my name is Jason, and I was one of the hosts for Out of the Ordinary, and also I was Mask Guy. And you don't want to get me angry. And I will show you how to get water from a water bubbler. You take a cup. Never mind. You can put it up and down. And that's how you get water. It could be. You know, some ghosts might follow me and they might come here and they might think this is a nice place to haunt. Hello, I'm Randall. I'm at this camp at, at Drake It TV. It's called Drake It Access Television. So, I was, a con I was behind the scenes in a review show in Drake It Access Television. And I was also a werewolf named Werewolf John in Drake It in the Dark. So as you can see here, it is now 60 degrees outside and the wind's E and E, 15 to 10. It's cloudy and cooler. Hello, my name is Brayden and I am um, I was in the control room and I shot behind the scenes. Hi George, how are you George? Okay. I'm good, how are you? You can talk! Hello, I'm Lily and today I'm interviewing... Oh hi, I'm George. So George, I'm going to ask a few questions about yourself. Okay. Do you go to school? Uh, no, because I'm dead. As Weird you answer. Guys, you guys can see. Weird answer, but okay. Do you have any pets? No, because they're dead too. Okay. Um. Are you going to answer all the questions with because they're dead? Um, yes, because I'm dead. Let's see. Um, oh. Where do you live? <laughs> Where do you live? I am dead, so I live in a graveyard. Cool. Makes sense. Here's. Hello, I am Lily, and today I'm interviewing. This is a hard question! <laughs> Just say your name. Okay, you ready, Lily? All right, guys, monsters are ready. Okay, here we go. Recording five, four, three, two, one. Hello, Brad. As you can see, I'm in the back hallway of Braver Brook Mills. This hallway is said to be the source of many strange encounters. Let's investigate further. Don't eat my brain. I think it's valuable. Yeah, I'm gonna start here. We go here. You're gonna pull back, and then we're gonna flip around, and you're gonna be over here, at Lily. Right here. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're gonna be kind of here, cause you're remember I'm your camera person, so you're gonna be like, uh, I I don't know which way should we go. Which way should we go? Let's go this way. And then I'm gonna start backing up. I'm gonna come come walking down. Come walking down. <laughs> Oh my! Wait, you got it. You got it. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. What's happened? What's happened? Chase the infrared. Infrared's on. Okay. kind of step towards the camera a little bit, like menacingly. Oh, yeah. There you go, that's oh, oh. cool, that's cool. Tilt up a little bit, Eric. You see the skeleton. My legs hurt. And cut. <laughs>